Bob News. Thanks a lot. Sure. Lawmakers on Capitol Hill have a lot on their plates, especially dealing with the health care debate. But there are also many other issues our congressmen are working on. And joining us now, Congressman Joseph Gao, to talk about some of those other issues. Thanks for being here this morning. Good morning. Uh, let's start by talking about something that's been really in the news for so many years, a uh, high-speed rail line uh, for Louisiana. How close are, are we to seeing something like this happen? Well, uh, the, uh, the process has been somewhat difficult because um, the Secretary uh, of, uh, of Department of Transportation uh, has uh, rejected the, uh, some of the money from the, uh, from the federal government because uh, if the project were to go through, there would be an $18 million maintenance uh, fund that, that the state does not have. Uh, at this present moment, uh, I've been pushing for um, this project in the last several months in Congress, and we are trying to to find ways uh, in order to uh, to fund this project uh, without having to go through the state, even though the state uh, itself would have to file the application. Uh, I spoke with the, the chairman of TNI committee. He's looking into that. We are also speaking with uh, Secretary Ray, Ray LaHood to see what, what certification do they need um, from, uh, from, from the state in order for this project to proceed. Why do you think it's so important to get this? Uh, well, the rail project seeks to extend from Houston through New Orleans all the way to Atlanta and Mobile. Uh, so it would be a tremendous economic boost to our to our to our two cities. Uh, the project itself is estimated to be around three hundred million dollars. So it's a tremendous amount of money to our local economy. It's not high speed rail, but there's a lot of talk about expanding streetcar service in uh, in New Orleans. What can you tell us about the efforts to get some of these new lines started? Correct. I I, I toured the RTA uh, facility, uh, especially streetcar facility, just a couple uh, days ago. I believe it was last week. Uh, uh, and uh, I, we have received proposals uh, from uh, from the agency in order to uh, to request federal funding to extend the routes uh, around the French Quarter area and, and, and other areas. And we are working uh, on the hill to get them some of the earmarks and some of the grants to, for that projects okay. for those projects to go through. You've actually been working on a, trying to come up with a violent crime bill. Where does that stand, and what does it entail? Well, we are trying to again bring more federal money down into the city in order to address the issue uh, of crime uh, some of the details that we are trying to work out obviously is in the language of the bill because uh, because when you designate a place as as high density crime it might cause uh, a lot more damage with respect to our tourism industry and so on and so forth so we're trying to fix the language and make it more uh, palatable real quick health care reform the Bacchus bill seems to be uh, moving forward do you like anything about this one the Bacchus bill um, at this time I even I cannot support uh, the bill in its present form because uh, it does not have uh, sufficient federal prohibition uh, against uh, abortion is there any is there any bipartisan discussion going on uh, with regard to this bill at this point not in the house uh, I'm, I'm not sure about the Senate but not in the house the house uh, basically the Republican Party is, is very much shut out of the conversation. All right, Congressman Joseph Gao, thanks for joining us this morning. Appreciate Thank you very it. much. A new study on what you